Recently, the online retail giant Amazon launched Halo, a fitness watch that can read emotions. Now, unlike previous devices, Halo also claims to have a tool to monitor users' well-being using their voice with a system called Tone. Apparently, a microphone listens to the user's tone of voice and tells them about their emotional state throughout the day. Now, it made me think of the three pillars of Rosh Hashanah, Teshuva, Tefillah, Tzedakah. The central pillar is Tefillah, prayer. But Tefillah is or should be so much more than the saying of the words printed in our Siddurim and Machsorim. You see, the Rambam defines Tefillah as a Vodash of service of the heart. And therefore, it is the barometer of our feelings and our emotions. It's the ultimate device that measures our spiritual connection to God. And during prayer, we ask God to listen to us, but at the same time, we're actually listening to ourselves, assessing our priorities, hearing our inner voice and what's truly important to us. But why do we pray so much on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur? Well, there's a famous Mishnah at the end of Masechus Machos. It's said every time before Kadesh Rabbanon is recited. We learn Rabbi Hanani ben Akasha Omer. Rabbi Hanani ben Akasha says, Rasa Kadesh Baruch Hu Zakos is Israel, that the Holy One, blessed be He, God, desired to make Israel worthy, and therefore He gave them much Torah to study and many mitzvahs to perform. And he quotes a verse from Isaiah, Hashem desires for the sake of the Jewish people's righteousness that the Torah be made great and glorious. Now what does this Mishnah mean? Well, out of God's great love for us, He gave us the Torah with 613 mitzvahs for our benefit, in order that we'd be worthy of receiving His reward. But this sounds rather counterintuitive. Surely if God wants to reward us, He should give us just one or two mitzvahs, and if we do them, then we'll be rewarded. So why give us so many mitzvahs? What if we look back at the beginning of time, we see this very experiment. Because Adam and Eve were given just one mitzvah. In fact, it was a negative prohibition, just not to eat from the tree. And they only had to avoid doing this one thing for a short amount of time, and then they would have inherited the ultimate reward, paradise itself forever. And what happened? They failed. And they were expelled from Gan Eden. And if we just had one mitzvah similarly to do, and we don't do it, then for us it's game over. We've missed our only opportunity to receive reward. And that's why God, with the divine wisdom and love, gave us a large number of mitzvahs as multiple opportunities to receive reward. So if we fail to do some, we can still do others and he can give us the reward he wants to give us anyway. And the same applies to tefillah, to prayer. If we only had one single prayer, then if we fail to say it, or if we don't say it correctly, then we've lost the power of that tefillah. And since our prayers are so precious to God, we have so many of them to ensure that we have more than one chance to harness the opportunity to communicate with God. Because not every prayer speaks to us personally. And we're not able to daven every tefillah with the required kavan of the correct concentration. But amongst the vast array of our liturgy, we'll always find some words that inspire us. Words that move us, words that express our hopes and dreams and allow us to connect with God. You know, I'm reminded of the story of the man who calls his mother in Florida. And he says, Mom, how are you? She says, son, I'm not too good. I'm, in fact, I'm quite weak. He says, well, why are you so weak? She says, because I haven't eaten for 38 days. And the man says, Mom, that's terrible. Why haven't you eaten for so long? And the mother answers him, because I didn't want my mouth to be full of food. But if should you call? In the Amida, we refer to God as Shomer Tefillah, the one who hears our prayers. And the truth is, God desires each and every one of our prayers. And he waits patiently to hear our call to him. And so this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, may God answer all of our prayers. And may we all be blessed with the Shana Tova Umutuka. May God bless us with a happy, healthy and sweet New Year.